Hi guys, Shimmy here, back again with something different, the blast from my past. As you can see, it's the US Aircraft Car CVN65, the Enterprise. This is a new tool in 1984. I bought it in 1984. Um, didn't build it until late 2000. So it's set away before I got drawn to it. Um, did take off all the R-Wing hour yesterday. It did light at one stage. Um, I was using the old LEDs then. Um, the hangar decks failed. All the lights in it. Um, the lights in the bridge are about to go out. They're very dim on it as well. And then around the stern. Uh, there's a few lights that's starting to flicker. Um, so I didn't weather this here at all. I just pulled it straight out of the box. And just added the lights to it. And done a wee bit of modifications just to the cranes and stuff like that was on it and the, the, the dollies and fire, fire trucks but nothing really heavy on it weather was so took it down from the display case there and decided I'm gonna rewire it again weather it down and repaint all the air wing it's on it and the air wing are all sitting off to one side um it's 1975 I think in the around that era, maybe maybe just after it, with all them particular air wing it's on it. So let's see, we'll get this light out here, you know, probably see much um of the the light um on the bridge. It's very dim. The wire that brighter than that, you can just about make out the green in the bridge area. You, you can turn it off, you can probably see it different if it off. Back on it. As I say, the, the hanger, the hanger deck did light. Uh, it doesn't light anymore. Um, all those SMD or LEDs that I used that particular time, twenty years ago. Um, not that much, not that much sticks to that compared to the more modern ones, the SMDs that I'm using now in all the bills. So we'll get it stripped down and luckily enough I don't really tack the top decks on I did build the lower deck flight deck scratch build it all inside and added a few other bits and pieces to it just can't see it just right now I and mean, it's not lit um it's a couple of other things that was done inside it as well so hopefully when I get the top deck off um and you'll be able to see inside of them before I put the new lights on until and wired up and whatever so of a couple of other ones are in the stash waiting to of the USS Nimitz, same scale. It's from um I think it's Trumpeter. Yeah, it's Trumpeter. And the other one is uh USF or USA uh John JFK aircraft car again same scale. And there's another one there which is the Intrepid, slightly smaller, she's all built and all, uh hasn't been painted yet. Um, I had a photo etch around that Intrepid and it's a nice kit too. So I'll try and get a couple of closer, closer shots at it and let's just see what it's like. So just bear with me. There you go. I didn't matter that is at all. The flight deck's pretty clean. The only modification I done was to the cranes, as you can see there. Just added a wee bit of steel rope to it, just to heighten it up a wee bit. And same for the fire truck, just added a wee hose to the top of it. One of the Chinooks. That was an officer's kit. It's off another kit. That's actually off the Intrepid, I think. Inside, you're not going to see much, as I said, with all the lights failed on it. Um, I don't think any. No. Did add a couple of planes inside it. A couple of dollies and stuff there to say, guys, you can't really see it. I didn't put any of mask up under the wires or anything like that at that particular time. There is an extensive kit for it, um, an upgrading kit. Um, all the railings and so forth there was no railings at all with this particular kit the Tamay version what you see here is what came in the box but it was a nice kit to build um, no fit issues at all anywhere that I can 
I can remember. It went together really, really well. You can just about maybe make that green light out there at the back. That was one of the lights. It's actually even kind of heavy. I was flicking it earlier. That's the same type of light that's in the bridge. And can I make it out one side? It's not too bad, but the other side is ready for packing up. So I'm going to rewire it again, weather the whole flight deck down and redo all the planes. They were a real pain to do all the ME tie downs. They were actually done with a toothpick. I think they're a bit overscaled. But we'll sort that out with a wash. Big old girl, so she says, for a long 350 scale. Initially released in 84. Tamiya, new tool, back then. You can still buy this kit. Um, it's, some shops are more pricier than others. You can get it in around a hundred dollars, ninety-eight pound here. Or sorry, sorry, I beg your pardon, not a hundred dollars. You get it about for about a hundred and forty pound here. I've actually got a brass plate sent away for it a while back. I just didn't put it on. It was the plate that came with it. Those are actually painted on. Um, they, don't, I can't remember if you got tassels for it or not, the red and white. Um, I remember masking that out painting that at that particular time. And that one there as well, they actually done it their own colour. Those are all we all we tassels like all those wee things here. There's little masks on it, as you can see around it itself. I was trying to contemplate on lighting the landing system, which is on this side. But at that particular time I wasn't confident enough to do it, but now I am. I can use the fiber optics in it, from the opposite side. So. See if I can get it around the other way. So it's been sitting up in this cabinet for a good, what, I don't know, many years. Took it down there and put it in a glass case and still managed to gather some dust. And it seems to keep dust at bay sometimes. Where are we here? Alright, there we are. You have to focus a bit better. So we'll try and get this here all lit up, the lights, uh, the, uh, the aircraft coming in the land. As I say, back then I wasn't really confident enough to try that. So we'll end up probably doing that with fiber optics. You run the lights, the uh, cables and all stuff, so forth down into the hull. The lifts, the elevators, should I say, they actually come up and down. Probably a bit stiff now, so they are. They actually do raise to the top. Don't want to shake it too much. They're sticking. There you go. We taste it. Maybe Vaseline down that. I'll sort that out. Right guys, I'm going to start rambling again. So again, blast my past. So this, so we'll tackle this at some stage, maybe next week or a week after it. I'm trying to get the bike finished as soon as um, still waiting on bits and pieces coming. They should have been here during the week, but they haven't arrived yet. Mainly the purse backs. Okay, so anyway, thanks for watching. Speak soon. Bye.